and welcome to Flavors of Africa. I'm Doris Ufwebune. And as always, I'm Kevin Ufwebune. Welcome to the second season of Flavors of Africa. And Flavors of Africa is that show that brings you delicious African dishes, fun, education, uh, tradition, culture, and of course, entertainment, because we believe that food is culture and the cultures that eat together stay together. Through food, we can appreciate diversity and promote cultural unity. That's exactly right. And here we believe that food builds solidarity. So when people eat together, they start to form a special bond, not only in Africa, but other parts of the world as well. Yes, and we take everyday dishes and give them an African twist. That's right. You know, we have so much fun here and it feels so good to be back. We're going to have so many amazing guests, delicious dishes. I really can't wait for this season. Speaking of being back, how was your summer? Uh, well, my summer was great. You know, I had a lot of fun. The weather was amazing. How was your summer? My summer was great. <laughs> Didn't I see you around? <laughs> I think I ran into you a few times. In the, the Bahamas. Bahamas. That's right. So that leads us to our destination today on Flavors of Africa, the Bahamas, a beautiful country in the Caribbean. Yeah, wow. It's home to about 350,000 people. Official language is English. And they actually were a part of the British colony. So they gained their independence on July 10th, 1973. Although Queen Elizabeth II is still the head of state in the Bahamas. And they actually have a prime minister just like Canada and they have a constitutional monarchy as well. And the Prime Minister's name is the Right Honorable Perry Christie. Now, the Bahamas is also home to many people that trace their ancestry to Africa. About 85% uh -huh. of people trace their ancestry to Africa. About 12% trace their ancestry to Europe. And a little bit, about 3% trace their ancestry to China and Latin America. So it's very diverse in some ways. It's a very beautiful country. It is indeed. Yeah. And today's dish is coming to you all the way from the Bahamas. Exactly. Except that we'll be making it here in our kitchen for you, our wonderful viewers. Yes, I can't wait for that either. And if you did anything amazing over the summer or you just want to keep Flavors of Africa posted, please tweet us at flavors underscore Africa. You can also email us at flavorsofafrica at shaw.ca and make sure that you like us on Facebook and keep us posted that way. Awesome. So we have so much lined up on today's episode. We have a delicious dish all the way from the Bahamas. You don't want to miss it. Stay tuned. It's all happening here on Flavors of Africa. <laughs> And welcome back to Flavors of Africa. It's our second season, and to welcome in the season, we're cooking a delicious dish all the way from the Bahamas. But before we do that, we're gonna get into a little bit of viewer mail. Some emails that you guys have been sending uh, over the period of time. And if you wanna continue doing that, it's flavorsofafrica at shaw.ca. Awesome. So we'll start with Samuels. Dear Doris and Kevin Ufwebene, I watched the episode on Ethiopia. As an Ethiopian Canadian, my family and I are happy that you are t talking about Africa. I did notice that you used cucumbers in the injera dish. And I wanted to tell you that we don't put cucumbers in the dish. And I want to be on your show. I'm a good cook. Samuel Zweed. Thank you so much, Samuel, for watching Flavors of Africa. And the reason why we use cucumber is just to garnish. You know, everything at Flavors of Africa is presentation. So that's why when we cook our dishes, we try to put a little touch uh, here and there. So that's what it is. And once again, thank you so much for watching Flavors of Africa. And if you do want to appear on our show, you know, if you have a talent, if you're a singer, if you're a dancer, if you're a poet, anything to entertain us, I would say, uh, just make sure that you send us a tweet or you email us. And uh, exactly. Awesome. Uh, also, one is from Helen. It says, hello, uh, may I ask why you dress like a Yoruba woman when I've heard that you said that you are a Delta Igbo? Anyways, where are the recipes? Thank you so much. Uh, what's her name again? Helen. Helen, yeah. thank you so much. Uh, would you prefer Igbo recipe or Yoruba recipe? <laughs> Just joking, no wahala. Well, it's the same Nigeria, we dress the same. You know, it doesn't matter, no wahala. That's true, I mean, like, Yoruba people, Igbo people. Uh, exactly, kinda, we're know. the same, it's one Nigeria. So thank you so much. <laughs> Perfect, so we have one from Ifani Iebu. 
Thank you for promoting our culture and for being a great African ambassador of culture and friendship in North America. Thanks too for being a distinguished daughter of Iseluku. Oh wow, that is so touching. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. It's just that, you know, you watch Flavors of Africa and thank you, you know, for your support. We hope you will continue to watch Flavors of Africa. Exactly, because we're all you. about tradition and exactly. culture here. That's perfect. So keep writing to us. We'd love to hear from you. Any suggestions? And if you'd like to appear on Flavors of Africa, let us know. And that brings us to our tasty dish today. What awesome. are we making? Well, you know, the, Baham uh, the Bahamians eat lots of seafood. They eat uh, the red snapper, the groupers, the uh, conch. conch. So many things. So for that reason, we are making the seafood for you guys, our wonderful viewers. So we have the fish here. The fish is deboned. And we have all our spices. We have the pureed tomato. We have tomato paste and African spices, as you can see. So um, to begin with, we're going to use the olive oil. We've always used the olive oil. If you don't have olive oil, please, just go ahead and use uh, vegetable oil, no wahala. It's so neat that we're using spices again today. Exactly. Just like African, continue the African yes. tradition. You know, the Bahamas and the Caribbeans in general, has, they have a strong connection to Africa yes, through the slave do. trade, and many of them have maintained their culture. So it's exactly. a beautiful thing to see. Exactly. So speaking of uh, dishes, do you think you can now oh, do for the sure. Yeah, for sure. So to begin with, we just put a little bit of salt. Just a pinch. Yeah. And I've talked about African spices. You know, you can make anything without putting African spices. And then we have the black pepper. So just to give you some taste. Maybe I can get the, are we gonna add more spices here? Yeah, you we can. can do that. Oh. Just add a little bit then. And you did something special in the Bahamas, didn't you? Yes, <laughs> we celebrated our 30th anniversary. And he you, you see, yeah. yeah, my husband and I, Hugo, <laughs> yeah, we were so happy to do yeah. that. I it think was, I, I think I was there, wasn't I? I think you were there. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So, um, you want to start adding? Uh, perfect. I will okay. do that. All right. So, so let me put one so you know how All it's right. done. I will just hold it here okay. for you. Okay. So, we add it. So, you can yep. go ahead and add that. So let me just lower the... And I mean, the Bahamas is an excellent place if you want to celebrate an anniversary, if you want to get married yes, there. It's a beautiful place in Beautiful. Here. The people are so nice. Beautiful, <laughs> nice people. And they take pride in their culture. That's and true. And that's one, I, one thing I truly like. You know, yeah. the place is so clean. Just going to add the last one in here. Yes. So why you are cooking that? Because it's going to be... Um, fish in tomato sauce. So we're gonna go about making our tomato sauce to go with our fish. Perfect. So it looks like we have our tomato puree Yeah, we here. have it here. Perfect. So once again, we're going to use the olive oil. So just eyeball it, not so much. About a tablespoon we do. All right. So we heat it up. And the next thing we're going to add there is going to be the vegetables. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we add the vegetables. Yeah. No, we add the onions first. Notice how I'm using the red onions because it has some sweetness to it. So that will sweeten our sauce. So that's what we're going to do today. And did you know that the Bahamas is one of the richest countries in North America? Actually, yes, followed I read by. About the about United it? States and Canada. It's interesting. Yeah, yeah. It's not cooperating today, so we're going to try a different uh, technique. Yeah. Okay, so That's we're going to transfer it there. Yeah. Okay. So, while this is cooking, we're going to introduce the um, ingredients that are going into the tomato sauce that goes very well with the fish. So here we have the red pepper, we have the, the scallion, which is of course green peppers, the green onions, mm -hmm. so they call it uh, scallion, we call it uh, green onions, and then uh, celery, so that's what we have here. 
So I'm going to give you the spoon because you've mastered the art of <laughs> cooking. So you're so going to add the, the tomato puree yes, first. Please. So I'm that gonna comes add that in. in. Yes. It's the same puree that you use for rice and stew, yes. the dish that's eaten in exactly. West Africa. Exactly, because we're going to eat this mm -hmm. with the uh, rice and peas. Normally, the Bahamians, they eat the rice with um, pigeon peas. If you don't have pigeon peas, like I don't have it here, please go about, you can use the uh, black eyed beans, no wahala, so it's the same thing. I love how we can substitute and make yeah. things I'm gonna easier. I'm gonna take this from you. So, while you're doing that, I'm going to add the, this is a uh, pureed, uh, no, tomato paste that goes into the uh, pureed tomatoes. And it takes about five minutes to cook it down because we want it to be fresh. We don't want to overcook it. Already it smells lovely. Awesome. So, this is a uh, nice. little spice. And I'm going to put a little bit of salt. And while you are doing that, I'm going to check our fish to make sure it's cooking properly. See, it takes about five minutes to cook each side, so we don't overcook it. You know what so, else I like about the Bahamas? The uh -huh. steel drums and the oh fact that goodness. everyone's festive. Oh my we are dancing. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. It was awesome, really. So many carnivals and just so many sights to see that go on there. It's and amazing. And I like the fact that they take so much pride in their country. You know, that's you know? true. So much pride. It was so clean, you know. It's true. The way they show it off, exactly. you know. Exactly. <laughs> it shows that they are happy people. That's you true. Know? It's amazing. Awesome. So I'm going to add the... Uh, uh, red peppers Perfect. Okay. to give it color and it's very healthy too, not just for color. We can't go wrong with vegetables. As you can see, uh, we've mixed up the uh, tomato sauce with our fish, our wonderful viewers, for you. So we have the finished product. So we're going to go about, you know, serving. It smells delicious. It smells <laughs> delicious. So we have the fish, and, um, and this is rice and uh, black eyed beans. If you don't have the black eyed beans, please. Like I already said, you can use the, if you don't have the pigeon peas, you can use the black eyed beans. It goes very well with the uh, uh, tomato dish. So that's what it is. Aren't you hungry? Oh, it looks delicious. I was going to bring my memories of the Bahamas. So here is the finished product. And we have more coming up on Flavors of Africa. Stay tuned for some interesting, beautiful pictures from the Bahamas, as well as some footage. You don't want to miss that? Stay tuned. And we are in the beautiful country called the Bahamas, of course in the Caribbean. I'm surrounded by the beautiful Atlantic Ocean. Just look all around me, it's just absolutely breathtaking. And of course, the Atlantic Ocean also has historical significance because it was through this ocean that many Africans, uh, African slaves came to the Caribbean. And it's just incredible. I mean, it's been amazing so far. The people are so friendly, the food is delicious, and we hope to just explore more. Hello, we're here at the Marina Village at Atlantis, and it's so beautiful, the weather's so nice, it's definitely a tourist attraction. It sure is. Now it's 
go try out the ice cream because it's a little, little hot. Oh, that's it's a good baking, idea. Baking, guys. <laughs> this is not your normal car, agree? It's just very, very hot. Exactly. That's but a good it's idea. a good idea. You can see me sweating. <laughs> Looking for a get getaway, the Bahamas is perfect for you. Look at this picture perfect. You know, I love this building. See how beautiful yes, it is. Nice. The building is awesome. And it reminds me of Africa because you go to Africa, they have bu uh, buildings like this. And then I think it's taken from uh, Spanish uh, uh, architecture. That's what it yeah. looks like, maybe from yeah, the Portuguese. Because of the curve, the way it's called, it's so amazing. Just look, look a lot around. Thank you so much for watching Flavors of Africa and remember that cultures that eat together stay together. Through food, we can continue to appreciate diversity and promote cultural unity. Take care. <laughs>